Welcome to Suladan Plays What Swims Beneath Us. This is a game that was made in 48 hours for Ludum J. Ludum. Wait. The other Ludum Derek game I played said 72 hours. I am confused, but okay. That aside, I'm just going to put a pin on that question. What Swims Beneath Us is a short horror game made in under 48 hours for Ludum Dare 48. The player must try to get as deep as they can before they run out of oxygen or get caught by what swims beneath. When moving down, the beast will come a-hunting, so be careful and track the monster on your tablet, with your eyes, and with your ears. By tablet, it means the in-game tablet, not a physical tablet. That's probably obvious, but, you know, just saying. Uh, there is no ending to this game, just get as deep as possible before oxygen runs out. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. Probably not gonna do the best at it. We're gonna hit how to play. Click the left or the right of the screen to turn. Click the bottom of the screen to bring up. Uh, click the button in the front. Monster track to attract the monster. Have a little limited battery life. Track oxygen. Uh, five Nights at Freddy's rules. Concerning. Also a thing -um. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. You should not clip through me. I don't know what you are, though. You're not a shark, that's for sure. Why are you hanging out over here? Go elsewhere. Shoo. 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 Also, why do I have limited oxygen? And no escape plan? Oh, hello. You don't hear anything. There's nothing going on over here. Go away. Shoop. 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 I mean, I could look around, gonna be honest. That would add a lot to the immersive quality. I do understand you have limits because of like... Oh, okay. Well, I can kind of look around. Oh, look, there's my oxygen tank. I, that is not what I said do. No. Oh, he ain't over here. Never mind. Okay. Oh, hi. You don't hear nothing. There ain't nothing going on over here. Is that it? Is that the thing? I'm, is that what I'm worried about? Just a random fish? Uh, with tentacles? Why do you have tentacles? Okay. That is apparently apparently a shark with tentacles. We're just gonna just gonna roll with that and not ask too many questions. Hi. There's nothing going on over here. Because you're apparently only concerned with me when I'm moving. It's an it's, ow. Don't smack me. It's an interesting mechanic. It's an inter interesting game. I'd be curious to see something like this. You know, you could build up on it and have it be where... I don't know. I would say you go down so deep and then you bring back your footage to sell for research points. But you'd have to have different monsters and different things you could see and different things you could upgrade. Like a greater oxygen capacity or whatnot. Maybe you're sending down an unmanned camera drone. I don't know. Also, eel. Anyway. Still, neat concept. to reach 500, but let's try this again. Yeah, I took for granted the heartbeat sound would be something I could take advantage of. 
Because that seems to warn me when it's nearby. You don't say nothing. Shoot. You got teeth. There's nothing to see here. But yeah, being able to look around more would be nice. Like, I'd love to be able to look up and down and have more sights going on. Uh, in a game that is simply designed like this, you need more visual variety going on out there. Like, different colors, different rocks. I do see you have some different fish going on. But being able to look down into the black abyss would uh, probably be quite a uh, improvement. As with being able to look up and see, like the deeper you get, the darker it gets because you can no longer see as clearly to the sun. But you know, stuff like that. Be nice, be interesting, be neat. I guess you could expand the game into levels where, like, you get to a certain point and there's a way station that you then, like, would save at, and then it'd be, it'd be mechanically clunky to have, like, your cage goes down and then you get out and get into the way station and then they have a cage, but you know what I mean. Maybe different areas with different creatures and different danger levels. Show. Shoot. Why am I doing this? Hi. I greatly disapprove of you. I cannot voice how much I disapprove of what you just did. I would like you to go elsewhere. Well, the radar says you've gone elsewhere, but I don't trust it. Four hundred fifty. Let's see if we can make it five hundred. Not all in one swoop because I think maybe I went too far all at once. Because it does say descending for too long in a single stroke will cause the uh, creature to attack. So I figure that's what happened. I just went. T I got. I got too, too over ambitious. I went too um, too fast, too far, too too quick, too much, all at once. And I think he's gone now. So we're gonna go. There we go, we got down 25. 25's pushing it, cause there he be. He not happy, he hungry. He hangry. Why don't he eat one of them sharks or something? Hmm. How strange. How very strange. Down we go. Nothing? Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Hello. What are you doing up there? There there's no there's no food over here. Go go over there. Go shoot. Stop smacking me with them tentacles. It's rude. Why do you even have those? Why? Why would why why are they on the back end of you? Subnautica Squid Shark's strange cousin. Look, 500. Mission accomplished. Five twenty. I don't know how much oxygen we have. Oh, the tablet's almost out of power too. I'm almost out of oxygen anyway. Five 
530. Five forty. Five fifty. Five fifty is about as far as we're gonna make it. Boing boing. One of them fancy oxygen tanks that beeps at you when it's low. How nice. Five sixty-five. Can I make it five seventy-five? Probably not. Because Mr. McGubbins is floating about. Can you go elsewhere? Nope, we died. 565. I will take it. Neat game. Neat game. Interesting little game. Ah. Uh, I do think the game has potential and I would love to see it expanded. I love these sorts of aquatic games. And especially when you can play into the concept of the horror of the dark unknown. Like, you know, the, ab the abyssal horror sort of stuff. Uh, the downside is in its current state, and this is in no way criticism, I know it was made in 48 hours, and for what it is, it's outstanding. No complaints. I would recommend some more visual variety, but again, 48 hours, you have limits on what you can do. It's not criticism. Uh, in terms of expanding the game, if you were to want to do so, again, visual variety, and we need more ambient sounds. I know it's underwater, you're not going to have a whole big thing of sound variety, but if Subnautica is any lesson, having all sorts of different uh, sounds just adds variety. <sighs> Sorry, not good with the technical terminology here. Basically a wider variety of creatures and or visual variety and or sound effects would be appreciated. If you were to expand the game, what you would probably do is end up breaking different depths up into having different threats, possibly with different ways to manage those threats. But you would also have to tweak the oxygen mechanic in some manner, perhaps allowing me a tool that, while stopped, could you know, try to pump that oxygen tank back up. And I know that's a weird sounding thing, but you know what I mean. Uh, you could add some way for the player to manage their oxygen by having to stop, you know, stop their descent and get their oxygen tank filled back up and then proceed on their way with different depth ranges having different threats. Like maybe, you know, the first couple hundred meters, you've got just regular old sharks. Then at some point you get deep enough and you got giant squids and jellyfish and who knows what all else and you know, let your imagination go with it. Have the environment get darker as you get deeper. Start seeing bioluminescent things. Uh, you could even have it broken up into where you can descend into different areas, different regions where you have just a wide open, you know, blue, black and blue abyss, areas with some volcanic activity, areas with a kelp forest. I know that one being a little hard because you need an abyss down below and you know what I mean. You could do a lot with this concept. Um, you would probably at that case also have some sort of system where the player could earn points or money or some form of currency between missions that would allow them to upgrade their rig, bigger oxygen tank, better lighting, you know, maybe a special light that they could look out with, uh, better tablet battery, better radar, different tools, like the way to, you know, pump your oxygen back up, uh, a decoy flare, who knows, there's all sorts of things that could be done with it, and you could build a fully fleshed out, uh, game out of this concept, but I love the concept as it is, uh, fascinating, and I do like that you are very upfront and say that there is no ending to the game, just get as deep as possible. I have seen some games that don't have endings that are not very clear on that. On the one hand, it's a little bit spoilery to know, but on the other hand, it lets you know that, like, you, you don't have to keep pushing and pushing and trying to find the ending, because there isn't one. Anyway, interesting game. It's on itch.io. It is made by Joseph Whitehead. There's a link in the description as per usual. I'm going to go ahead and pause here, though. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next game.